Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 4 and 5. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 5th, 1973, in London, England. It is better to live in this world by begging than to live at the cost of the lives of great souls who are my teachers. Even though they are avaricious, they are nonetheless superiors. If they are killed, our spoils will be tainted with blood. So, the first problem was for Arjuna how to kill the king's man. Uh, family man. Hmm. Now, when he was chastised by Krishna as a friend, uh, so why you are so weak? Uh, don't be weak. This is sentiment, this kind of compassion is sentiment. Uttishtha. He better get up and fight. But we can, <coughs> if I do not want to do something, I can offer so many pleas. So, next he is presenting Guru. All right, Krishna, you are talking about my kinsmen. I accept that it is my weakness. But how do you advise me to kill my Guru? Huh? Dronacharya is my guru, and Bhishma Devi is also my guru. So do you want me to kill my guru? Guru Nihi Hatya. And not only ordinary guru. It is not that they are ordinary men. Mahanubhava, Bhishma, the great devotee, and similarly Dronacharya also, a great personality. Mahanu Bhava. So, Katam Bhishma Maham Sankhi Dronam Jamurusu. They are two great personalities. Uh, they are not only my gurus, but they are great personalities. And Krishna, Krishna is addressed Madhusuda. Madhusudana means Madhu was Krishna's enemy, a demon. So he came. So you are Madhusudana, you are killer of your enemies. Can you give me any evidence that you have killed your guru? So why you are asking me? This is the purpose. Isubhi Pratijasrami Pujaraha Varishudana. Again, Arishudana. Ari means enemy. Madhusudana, particularly the killer of the Madhu, Dima. And uh, next is Orishudan. Ori means any. Uh, so, Krishna has killed so many demons, Ori, who came to fight with him as enemy. <coughs> Therefore, his name is Orishudan. So Krishna has not enemies else. What to speak of ourselves? This material world is so bad that you must have some enemies. Matsarata. Matsarata means enviousness, jealous. This material world is like that. So, there are jealous enemies of God also. They are called demons. Ordinary jealousy or enemy, that is natural. But even to God, just yesterday, yesterday at night, evening, somebody came to see me. He was arguing that why Krishna should be accepted as God. That was his argument. <coughs> so 
कृष्णाय जानेंगे जब कृष्णा नॉट ओनली ही बट एवरी वन हु इज इन दी मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज एनी ऑफ कृष्णा एवरी वन बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू बी कॉम्पिटिटर ऑफ कृष्णा कृष्णा से दैट मोक्ता अहम आई एम दी सुप्रीम एंजॉय सर्व लोगों का माहित सर आई एम सुप्रीम प्रपात बेरा घसन पर ईजावासन इदम सर्वम एवरीथिंग इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉ सर्वम खलु इदम ब्रह्म दीज आर मेरी गिंजन सर जदो वाई मे भूतानी जायते फ्रॉम होम एवरीथिंग एस टाउन कर्माद्यक्ष के तहत दिज आर वेरी भर्स बट स्टिल वी बिकॉज वी आर एनिमी नो वाई कृष्णा सर विज ए प्रोपाइटर आई एम प्रोपाइटर वाई कृष्णा सर वी गॉट अर्ली आई एम गॉट एनर तो कृष्णा है नहीं अभी सुधो ना एंड हेयर टू किल कृष्णा इज नॉट टू बिजनेस परित्राणा साधुना बिना राय से दुष्टी का मिस्क्रियंस दे आर मिस्क्रियंस दे डिमांड्स हु चैलेंज कृष्णा हु वांट्स टू कॉम्पीट विथ कृष्णा हु वांट्स टू से शेयर विद द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ कृष्णा दे आर ऑल एनी ऑफ कृष्णा and they should be killed so killing business is all right here uh, for the enemy not for the enemy then the next question is all right enemies you can kill at me but how you advise me to kill my guru guru hatya But if for Krishna's sake, if there is need, you have to kill your guru. That is the fear. For Krishna's sake, if Krishna wants, then he cannot. If Krishna wants that you should kill your guru, then you have to do it. That is the command. Of course, Krishna will not ask you to kill Guru, but uh, because Guru and Krishna are the same. Guru Krishna prepare. We get Krishna consciousness through the mercy of Guru and Krishna. So, real Guru is never to be killed. That is so-called Guru has. The so-called pseudo guru, false guru, is a victim. Just like Pallar Maharaj, while Pallar Maharaj he was standing, here is Nishinga Devi is killing his father. Father is guru. Sarva Devi is my guru. Similarly, father is also guru. At his official guru, material is his guru. So uh, how Pallad Maharaj allowed uh, Nishinga Dev to kill his guru, his father? Everyone knows that Nishinga Dev is his father. Uh, would you like to see that your father is being killed by some uh, person? I mean, stand. Is not protest. Is that your duty? No, that is not your duty. When your father is attacked, you must protest. That means if you are unable, you must fight. You first of all lay down your life. How is that? My father is being killed in my front. That is your duty. But Pallad Maharaj did not protest. 
he could have re- requested his devotee, uh, my dear sir, uh, Prabhu, my Lord, uh, you can excuse my father. He did it. But he knew that uh, my father is not being killed. It is the body of the father. Uh, later on, he begged for his father uh, in a different way. First of all, when Nishimhadeva uh, was angry, he was killing the body, he knew that the body is not my father. His soul is my father. So let the Lord uh, satisfy himself by killing the body of my father, then I shall save him. <coughs> so Prahlad Maharaj, Nishinga uh, Dev offered Prahlad Maharaj, now you can take any kind of benediction you like. The Prahlad Maharaj replied, My Lord, we are materialists. I am born of a father, absolutely materialist. So I am also, because I am born of a materialist father, I am also materialist. And you, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, you are offering to give me some benediction. I can take any kind of benediction from you. I know that. But what is the use of it? Why shall I ask you for any benediction? I have seen my father Materially, he was so powerful that even the demigods, Indra, Chandra, Varuna, they were threatened by his red eyes. And he gained over control over the universe. He was so powerful. And riches, wealth, power, reputation, everything complete. But he had finished it in one second. So why you are offering me such benediction? What shall I do with them? If I take that benediction from you and I become fucked up and do everything wrong against you, then you can finish it within a second. So kindly do not offer me such benediction, such material offering. Better uh, give me benediction to be engaged in the service of your servant. I want this. Let me be uh, benedicted by you that I may be engaged in the service of your servant, not directly your servant. Uh, then after many prayers, after pacifying the law, he was very angry. Uh, then when his, uh, he was little pacified, he asked, My dear Lord, I can ask you one another benediction. That my father was very, very uh, uh, strong enemy of you. Uh, that was the cause of his death. Now I ask you, kindly excuse him and give him liberty. Oh, this is Vaishnava son. He did not ask anything for himself. And although he knew that his father was the greatest enemy, still he is asking his benediction. This poor fellow made liberty. So, uh, Lord Nishinga has guaranteed, say, my dear Pallad, not only your father, but your father's father, his father, up to fourteen generations, all are liberated. Because you are born in this family. Uh, anyone who has become a Vaishnava, a devotee of the Lord, uh, he is giving the greatest service to the family. 
because in relationship with him, his father, mother, anyone, they will be married. Uh, just like uh, we have got experience, if a person dies uh, in the fight immaturely, his family is taken care of by the God. Similarly, to become a devotee is the greatest qualification. He has got everything. Jatra Yoga Sarahari, Jatra Dhanadhara, part when there is Krishna and when there is devotee, all victory, all glories are there. That is guaranteed. So Guru Nhatta, a devotee uh, of Krishna, if need be, uh, if he is called unqualified guru, uh, unqualified guru means who does not know how to guide the disciples. Uh, Guru's duty is to guide such kind of guru. Uh, uh, can we at least reject uh, that is Jiva Goswami? Kaja Kajama Janatam. Uh, a guru who does not know what to do and what not to do, but I mistake, by mistakenly I have accepted somebody as guru, uh, he can be rejected. Uh, re- by rejecting him, you can accept a actual bona fide guru. Uh, the guru is uh, not here, but he can be rejected. That is in Jansana Dishara. <coughs> so, Bhishma Dev or Dhanacharya, that is the guru. But Krishna indirectly giving uh, indication to Arjuna. So although they are in the position of guru, he can reject them. Kaja, kaja, majanata, they do not know factually. This Bhishma Dev, he materially considered his position. He knew everything from the beginning that the Pandavas, they were parentless fatherless children, and he raised them from the very beginning. Not only that, he was uh, so much affectionate to the Pandavas that he was thinking when they are sent to forest, banished. At that time, uh, Bhishma Dev was crying that these five boys uh, were so pure so honest, and not only pure and honest, so powerful warrior Arjuna and he. And this Draupadi is practically directly the goddess of fortune. And they have got their friend, the Supreme Personality of God is Krishna. And they are suffering. He cried. He was such affectionate, therefore, Arjuna is considering how can I kill Krishna? Uh, but duty is so strong, Krishna is advising, yes, he must be killed because he has got, he has gone to the other side. He has forgotten his duty. Uh, he should have joined him. Therefore, he is no more in the position of Guru. You must kill him. He has wrongly joined the other party. Therefore, there is no harm to him. Similarly, Dhanacharya. Similarly, Dhanacharya. I know their great personalities. They have got great affection. But only on material consideration they have gone there. What is that material consideration? Bhishma thought that I am maintained by the money of Duryodhana. 
Buddha then is maintaining me. Now he is in danger. If I go to the other side, then I should be ungrateful. Uh, he has maintained me so long. And if I, in the time of danger, when there is fighting, if I go to the other side, that will be. He thought like this. Uh, he did not think that Buddha Dham may be maintaining, but he has usurped the property of the Pandavas. And this is his greatness. He knew that Arjuna will never be killed because Krishna is there. So from material point of view, uh, I must be grateful to Buddha. The same position was for Dronacharya. They are maintained. Therefore uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, that Vishayir Anna Khaile Molin Hoy Mo. Such great personalities uh, became darkened uh, because they took money from them. Anna, if I am provided by somebody who is too much materialist, then that will affect me. I will become also materialist. I will also become materialist. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has a word that those who are visoyi, those who are not devotees, do not accept anything from them. Because it will, as I say, make your mind unclean. So, Therefore, uh, Brahmana and uh, Vaishnava, they do not accept directly money. They accept bhiksha. Bhiksha. Bhiksha you can, know, just like here it is said, bhiksham. Huh? Sriya bhoktum bhiksham apiha loki. When you ask somebody, still, Bhiksha is also sometimes prohibited from a person who is too much materialist. But Bhiksha is allowed for Sanyasi, for Brahman. So therefore Arjuna is speaking that instead of killing such great gurus who are so great personality, Mahanubhava, so bhikram, for a chhatriya, a brahmana, a sannyasi, can bear, can bear arms. But not a chhatriya, not a vaishya. That is not allowed. This, you are a chhatriya, of your So he says, better I shall take the profession of a brahmana and beg from door to door. Instead of enjoy the kingdom by killing my guru. That was his proposal. So, on the whole, Arjuna is illusion. Illusion in this sense that he is forgetting his duty. He is a satriya. His duty is to fight. Never mind the opposite party. He is even his son. A Khatriya will not hesitate to kill his son in, if he is enemy. Uh, similarly, a son, if the father is enemy, he will not hesitate to kill his father. This is the stringent uh, duty of the Khatriya. Uh, no concern. A Khatriya cannot uh, concern like that. Therefore, Krishna said, play bang. Don't be coward. Uh, why you are becoming coward? coward? These topics are going on. Later on, uh, Krishna is giving uh, real spiritual instruction. This is ordinary talks are going on between the friend and the friend. That's all.